Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you on how you can connect your devices to the cloud that is on the NS NSP simulator. So uh, this is the cloud, this is the cloud you want to connect our PCs to, the, uh, to that cloud. Uh, you come here, you can bring it, you can add your PC, you can add your cloud. But let's remove this one and only use the one that we've set. When you look at this cloud, right click and show the settings. Uh, in, in, in this interface, you can see uh, the binding info. We have got the UDP. When you, uh, you check on, on that point, you can see uh, you can also see the IP address you are using. So the virtual box, a host only net only network, the IP address is of 192.168.56.1. So that is the IP address that has been assigned to the to the uh, laptop you are using. So you can come to your CMD and and check the IP config, and you should be able to see that IP address that you are. Uh, has been shown on that on that cloud that is 192.168.56.1 so when you right when you right click uh, you see there are no interfaces to connect to the computer but when now on this computer let's pick an interface and try to connect you see there are no interfaces there are no interfaces But when you come to this computer and you try to connect, there is an Ethernet interface. So uh, just right click on the cloud and add the interfaces to the cloud. When you come to port type here, uh, you can see the option we have. We have got the gigabit uh, Ethernet, we have Ethernet, gigabit Ethernet, we have also the serial, POS, EI, and E1 and ATM. So in this case, uh, we are going to add the gigabit interface. Then come here, add, and also add another. We are going to add the two interfaces. After that, we come, uh, come to, come to our device here, and now try to connect. So we'll try to connect to the cloud. So gig one. I'll connect to Ethernet 1, then gig 2, connect to Ethernet 2. Uh, the cloud here just acts as the switch. It will just allow, it will just be forwarding the packets, just allow the the packets to pass through. So let's give this, uh, let's start our device and give the, and give the PCs an IP address. So we are going to configure the IP addresses manually. So let's give let's give this PC or an IP address of 192.168.20.1.1 and the subnet mask of the default subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 apply also you have to assign this other guy also the IP address on the same network I'm going to give it 192.168.20.2.2 and the subnet mask of 255.255.255 apply so now we want to see if can this pc here reach the pc2 here because of they are on the same network so let's say if they can uh, ping each other through the cloud so come on this side uh, on the command and ping 192.168.20.2.2 actual destination and reachable so it doesn't know where that network is so that's uh, that's that's the thing now i want to show you 
I want to show you how you can configure the cloud to allow packets uh, to pass so that you can be able to ping a PC2 there. So uh, you, you go to settings. On the settings, you are going to allow two channel uh, two channel communication. Then you add you add the local port here. You said Ethernet. You are you are using gigabit. I using gigabit Ethernet. Then local port one. So uh, local port you are going to give it gigabit one. Then on the remote port you are going to give it uh, gig two. So make sure the the ports are not the same because when the ports are the same, let's say one one or two two, uh, it won't be able to establish uh, that uh, that uh, binding. So after that, after that, you also come again and add another. Make sure it is a two way. So the first way will be one to port one two. The local local port number will be one. Then the remote port number will be two. So that is the first way. But you want to make sure this communication is two way. When you ping from this PC, you can ping PC2 also, you can ping from PC2 to PC1. So to ensure the two way, now come on this side, now say two. But this one, you also give it one. Then you add. So you can see it has been, you are being told that mapping has been uh, in the list. So we've add the from port 1 to port 2 and from port 2 to port 1 so let's see now if we are now able to we are now able to ping that other guy so let's ping so you see uh, the packets are now allowed to pass you can now ping that guy and is it two way uh, two way while you're on this uh, pc2 can you also ping pc1 so Ping uh, PC, not PC, IP address of 192.168.20.1. It is able to reach PC1, meaning that uh, we've configured the cloud to allow the packets to pass. You can also add another, another PC. You can also add another PC and see. And see what happens. Let's connect uh, that PC to the cloud. It can't connect because there uh, are no available ports. We only added two ports, but uh, uh, if you want to add another PC, we have to uh, add another port on that on that cloud. So you come here and you add another. So you add gig three port number is gig three, and make sure the binding info is UDP. On that uh, on that part. So now let's connect. Uh, let's connect Gig three to our PC here. Then we are going to give our PC an IP address of dot three. So one nine two dot one six eight dot two zero dot three. A, mal a wildcard mask of two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Let's try to ping uh, PC.3 while on this one. It's going to tell you destination host and reachable because we've not configured the binding uh, on on this cloud here to allow the packets from gig one or gig two to pass. So we come here, we right click on that and check. I go to settings. In the settings, we are going to add one gig one and gig three. So we've add gig one gig communication from gig port three to port one and from port one to port three. So let's ping. We are on port one. We want to ping dot three. You see, ah, it should be able to uh, ping, it should be able to reach uh, that port three. Also, while on port three, you will also be able to ping port one. So ping 192.168.20.1. Three. Uh, it's able to ping, but now when you try to configure dot two, uh, it can't ping dot two because uh, you not you not establish uh, 
uh, communication between port 2 and port 3 so you just right click here and enable uh, for port 3 for port 2 and port 3 so port 2 and port 3 you add so now you want to see also if uh, and also to see also if the communication for that will also be able to uh, go through so you can see uh, the packets are being returned uh, five packets transmitted and five packets received successfully the same here on port uh, on gig 3 and you can you ping gig 2 should be able to uh, to allow packets to pass so that's the point I wanted to demonstrate on how you can uh, you can configure your cloud which may act as the switch just to forward packets to allow packets to pass on while you are on your ENSP. So thank you guys.